Now since we mentioned solid models for hole making, um, we'll just give an idea of how they can be used for generating milling and profiling toolpath. You've seen the SmartCam production milling process is applied to wireframe geometry. Um, you're not able to directly machine solid model data in production milling. You would need to upgrade to advanced milling to be able to do that. You can machine solid model data directly in advanced milling. But in production milling, you're able to extract profile boundaries from the model and use them in the processes that you've already seen me use. So I'll give you an idea of how we might do that on some of this model data here. So, for example, if we wanted um, a slice through the middle of the model, we can pick up the appropriate surfaces that we want from the model. And on a layer, we can generate a slice We'll slice it at minus 10, halfway down the thickness of our particular model, and we'll move the resultant geometry to zero. And if we group slice that data, you can see we've added now a profile boundary, and we can start to use that to create toolpath. So similarly, we could pick up the uh, entire model, and we could create boundaries from those features, uh, either from the entire model or from Actually, rather than the entire model, let me pick up a set of faces. Let's pick up uh, this top face, this one, this one, and this one. And then from that set of data, we will create some profile boundaries. So preview them, create them. So if I just suppress the solid model from the view for, the, for a moment, you can see, I hope, that we've got a set of profile data that we can start to apply those wireframe processes to. I shan't remachine the whole thing here again, but you'd use the same techniques you've seen us use in production milling already.